On Tuesday night, the Saga Centurions and the Kenya Cowboys competed in a doubleheader matchup. For the girls basketball team of Kenya High School, the main focus of the game was to get back into the win calm after suffering a loss against their arch rivals, the Hart Indians. In the beginning of the game, Saugus came out ready to play. Kristen Kai drains this three from beyond the arc, and soon after, her teammate Eva Marie Rios steals the ball from Canyon. She drives down the court to score with a nice touch off the glass in order to match the score with Canyon by the end of the first quarter. It didn't take long for Canyon to rally together and pull ahead of Saugus. With the assist from Aliyah Garcia, Josie Riguez drains the first three and then knocks down another to extend their lead. Riguez would take the drive on this one. With the failed first attempt, there would be a second chance to score and it would be the buzzer beater to go right into halftime. Going into the third, the Cowboys were still feeling the groove. Aliyah Garcia would drive to the basket with a scoop shot to push the lead to 10. Riguez would pass to Garcia to switch the three at the top of the key. Canyon would go on to win the ball game with the final score 62 to 55. And the team is now focusing their attention to West Ranch. Uh, I think the main thing is that we know that we can beat that team and we just have to keep working and we know what we need to do next time in order to beat them. So I think we're just focusing on getting better every day. After the Canyon girls grabbed the W from Saugus, the boys basketball teams were fired up and ready to put on a show. Coming right out of the gate, the Centurions took control of the court with their strong offense. Justin Perez drains the three to put Saugus at 24 to 15 at the end of the first quarter. The Cowboys came together during the second quarter. While the team was down by nine points, Daniel Goshen decided to drop not just one, not two, but three from downtown, shortening Saugus' lead by two. Coming out of the half, Saugus still feeling themselves, Max Tangen sinks the long range jumper from downtown to extend the lead over Canyon. With some fancy passing from the Centurions, there was this nice pass from Adrian Salazar to Justin Perez to drop in the easy bucket. Saugus goes on to defeat Canyon with the final score, 72-57. The Centurions' victory was made possible with some words of encouragement. Um, you know, Coach saw, saw our potential, like we weren't playing to our full potential, so he lit us up in the locker room and he got us going, so that was good. The Centurions are ready to face off against their arch rivals of the Foothill League. It will be an epic showdown against the Valencia Vikings, in which fits the title, Clash of the Titans. These two teams will be facing off against each other this Friday at 6.30 on the Valencia home court. For Canyons News, I'm Kyle Kawamoto.